good, everyone. I hope y'all are having a great, fantastic night, day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, as of right now, um, it is it is one thirty three in the morning. One thirty three in the morning. Um, I immediately just ended the last episode. I'm hopping straight into this one. Straight into this episode. Okay. Um, so bear with me. Um, in the last episode, Big Boy came back from the dead. Came back from the dead. And just started bodying them. So let's get into it. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. You can read your collected manuscripts in the mind place. Okay. I don't want to talk to Casey right now. I want to figure out. The heart is gone too. Did the fucker take it with him? What the hell just happened? Let me look around. That's locked. You flip that whole examination table over. It's the lady guy. I didn't even see this lady guy. I can't force it open. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. <laughs> now we can figure out a way forward. Well, we got to be careful with that. Then Christian's going to go crazy. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Okay. This is the invitation. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. 
Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. What? Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too, Nightingale. Was, but wasn't a taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place and the dark place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. Oh, man. A radio. Now we... A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Makes sense. The overlap. Yeah, according to the page, it sounds like Nike went back to Cauldron Lake and he's taken. He said I had to pursue Nike into the overlap. Finding a way would be difficult. The overlap. What's the overlap? These pages aren't making sense. Okay. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake calls him a taken we need to head over there stop him before anyone else gets hurt okay okay so how do we get out we we heard gunshots y'all okay did you get spooked by the bodies sheriff breaker disappeared nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down you two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake Im immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. They just believed our offer, it. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. aren't real and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared like poof he's gone like magic magic's not real magic's not real right Mulligan no Thornton monsters aren't real and magic's definitely not real Jesus okay, how do we get back up Sure is. Mm, they're a fine pair. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. Oh dear, I'm a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. It's only time to wear a dive on the Hello. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. 
Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. W we need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Marisetta won't roll over on the issues. Check out the town, Anderson. Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. <sighs> oh, Lord. Clock out. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then... Ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. It is. And you thought it this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time okay, but to me what does that have to do with the guy, the though? There's a van here. That van wasn't there before. The heart. The heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. At the actual Let's start like looking for Nightingale where it was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen because they're behind this or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. 
What sort of cult? A real cult. Refers to themselves as a cult. In my experience. Duh. And then, what the, what the hell is up with this lady, bro? Yet. He just started. Oh, shit. Who are these people? Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs. Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Don't. Why are you asking me? Yeah, how you know about it? Yeah. How did you hear about the Was you there? Hall? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some, you're not water, answering my question. Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World amusement park. There's sauna, sauna de vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. That didn't answer my you question. It, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No mm -hmm. need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. He's uh, bull right here in the front with the hat. Mass suspicious. You're avoiding certain questions. You don't want to answer them. The questions that I'm asking you, you're, you're trying to deteriorate or, or swing around questions about this machine and how, why y'all here and such. Yeah, boy, you, you real suspect, boy. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. Mm -hmm. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Hulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage yeah, they're can. weird. That's all I've got for the moment. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. <laughs> Uh, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. I just honestly hope That this game doesn't give me nightmares. Our crime scene's drowning. I never mind its rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye.
Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. No, you, you need backup, shawty. You need backup. What the hell are you talking about? Boy just beat the hell out you the last time. And you trying to separate? No. You need backup, baby girl. See how big that nigga was? the way that, that, that this happened. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? <sighs> I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. find the witch's hut. Okay. Let's 
Let's let's check. Somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Aldera Street Station. The threshold. Which is what? Like a doorway leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is Ladle. Dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. Maybe I need to go back to the to the tree. Just hide it this way. Anderson. Thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, it's but I'm gonna check it out. This way. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. I'm so confused. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe I have to climb up here. This is the witch's hut. Fuse is busted. Friday. Mitch told me today that I, I heard fans moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like it. 
Okay, this is a diary from somebody. I think I wrote this diary, obviously. Or wrote that, uh, put that out. Okay, what is this one? Empty cooler. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates books, but he really hates the movies. should really stop littering though. I did all that running for no reason. It was literally right there. I did all that running for no reason. need to go over all this again. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nightingale's heart is a peer from a mirror. Where is it now? Get into the overlap. I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line in printed on it, flip the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign, then push the heart through the hole in the sign. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. What? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Nightingale's heart. 
Nightingale's heart is at the general store and a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. Hey, Steve. I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. This game's gonna give me a full blown heart attack. I swear. Use what? Use what? Check with Lady Fortuna at the corner. Text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold dip. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. <laughs> the body's gone. The heart to the witch. Makes total sense. body the body moved how did the body move hey steve there are cultists in the area they're taken like nightingale watch yourself out there yeah thanks for the heads up i'm still finding my way back you have the worst sense of direction <laughs> any city in america i can get through drunk and blindfolded in these damn trees okay Okay, I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This pace just keeps getting weirder, but it is exciting. It's not. And I keep getting lost too. I ain't gonna lie, this shit is mad confusing.
I don't got no bullets now. Where Casey at though? The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart wish. Show me the terror. I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Logan? Logan! Where are you? The fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. I think this game is actually, I mean, I don't know, because I played Evil Within, and Evil Within was good, was a good game. Evil Within was a good game, but I don't think Evil Within was like horror, right? Or maybe I'm more just invested now into into like the games and the stories and stuff compared to back then but jesus christ bro this shit is ridiculous turned around no this is right this place is looping like a nightmare Yeah, because I don't think that was there when we first got there. Need to find Nightingale. <laughs> the writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Higgins still lurked in the woods. The dark wave proceeded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him.
is here, Nightingale. Shorty. Show me the clicker. Okay. What if what if the whole purpose of like these stories and stuff is I guess for Alan Wake to to get people to save him? Like he's trapped in this evil dark dimension and he's trying to write stories to help him get out of that dimension. Again, like I said, I didn't play the first one, so maybe, maybe, uh, Alan or the, yeah, Alan Wake, no, yeah, Alan Wake wrote a story about the first guy, uh, Night Nightingale, and then Nightingale failed, and then he also got brought in into that evil dimension through the witch, and his second attempt is to then try to use Saga to then bring and save him through this second game so maybe maybe he's trying to write his own like his own rescue mission you feel what i'm saying so i'm about to grab her ass Hard space. It's hard thing. Oh shit. supposed to run in there what was i supposed to do
I'm confused, man. Why this nigga so tough? Where am I supposed to run to? Where am I supposed to run to? What is safety in this situation right now? What is safety in this in this situation though? Like why is it still way was supposed to be safe and what like this shit like it just kept going in a fucking circle okay but i, I killed the nigga i killed him <laughs> who the hell are you nigga Where did you come from? 
We've been missing for 13 years. No. No, 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 no. I think he didn't. I don't think he came out into the real world. I think she went into his world. I don't think this is a place. I think she has finally crossed, a, like she has finally gone across whatever the, the, the barrier was and has finally completely gone into his world. He's not out yet. That's what I think. But they, it might be the other way around. I don't know. We'll see. Amen. But that's the end of chapter two. I appreciate y'all for 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 watching, for joining, for for being in this experience with me. Um, I hope y'all enjoy, cause I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to. I, that's why I've been trying to set the mood. Make sure it's dark. Obviously, I got all these damn screens and shit in front of me, so it won't stay dark. But I hope y'all are are in it with me the same way that I'm in it with you. And we're going through this experience. They got some good ass songs on this on the like uh, on this soundtrack, so I ain't gonna even lie. But amen. Again, thank you. I love every single last one of y'all that made it to the end of this episode. I appreciate you for spending this time with me. And I hope that we can continue to spend more time together and grow as a community, grow as a family and continue to push the envelope to become better people for for the goal of a better world. Um, so thank you. If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a, a, a comment. Make sure you share to somebody uh, so they can be a part of this journey with us. Uh, and, I, and hey, it's your main man, Mo. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.